Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Crypto Ginger here. I just wanted to connect some dots when it comes to additional companies that have some sort of involvement with Ripple or Ripple's products or even XRP. And it really all started with this article I saw today from AMB Crypto, where we see that Ripple's X Current, XVIA, and XRP powered X Rapid come into focus as task group and ECB gear up for tips launch. Now, the article talks about how uh, there is this particular relationship between the ECB, which is also known as the European Central Bank, uh, connecting it to Task Group and, of course, uh, the system called TIPS. Here it states that uh, the European Central Bank had recently announced they're launching a system for faster payments in the Eurozone. The system is known as TIPS or also known as Target Instant Payment Systems. And it was aimed to settle instant payments in Euro for users to be able to do this any time of the day, any day day of the year. Now, interesting enough, uh, the wording for what's uh, getting ready to be said here uh, very much sounds like XRAPID, and you'll see why. It says, the system requires payment service providers to set aside a portion of liquidity in their respective central bank, which will then act as a way to settle instant payments. So again, it sounds very much how XRAPID would work when it comes to cross-border payment settlements for banks. Uh, the article then states that the system also promises no minimum weight during the process, the transaction settlement across the clock. This is all done with an end-to-end -end process time of 10 seconds or less, with measures put into place to ensure that the system can be scaled effectively to meet the needs of the users. It also gives businesses another product to sell their consumers on as instant payments are slowly becoming the new norm. Now, here is a small bit of a diagram of how that particular system would work. And from my understanding, where it says Target 2 and Target 2 Securities, that is actually, I believe, supposed to be TIPS itself. Uh, what I did to try to help at least confirm this is I looked up uh, the relationship between Target 2 and, of course, TIPS as well. And it states here that uh, this is coming from taskgroup.eu. So we have a little bit of an affiliation with Task Group here. And this is coming from an article dated uh, July 10th of 2017, so quite some time ago as far as seeing how this is all being connected and has been under the radar for quite some time. Uh, this is mentioning how TIPS, green light from the European Central Bank, unsurprisingly, the governing council of the European Central Bank has finally approved the development of TIPS, uh, or also known as Target 2 Instant Payment Settlement. So again, going back to this article here, you can see that Target 2 and Target 2 Securities, that's just simply TIPS and TIPS Security there. And of, of course, you'll see a little bit more of this uh, in another diagram I'm about to show here in a second. The article then goes to uh, state its connection with Ripple. It says that Ripple, the fintech company aspiring to solve the cross-border payment ecosystem, seems to have ensured its place in the future of evolving payments. They have achieved this through two main moves, the primary being the partnership with Task Group. Now, I've mentioned this in a previous video before, where we have Ripple partnering up with Task Group. And of course, uh, we have as well, as far as the second main move, is that Ripple has actually uh, offered maximum interoperability. And of course, it's gonna be something uh, used through the TIPS payment standard. I'm gonna go back up here really quickly because I wanna point out something here. It says that the Task Group is a company which focuses on business innovation in the financial sector and have released a bevy of software to use with banks. They aim to deliver electronic money, payment systems, capital markets, and extended enterprise solutions to payment providers, with one of their products being the latest version of the bank liquidity management platform. This reportedly allows the forecasting of the liquidity situations for the banks that have implemented the system. So again, uh, those banks that have implemented the, the TIPS system will definitely be on board with being able to take advantage of uh, the bank liquidity management platform just as well. Now, of course, uh, from my understanding, this right here is a little bit of a diagram of the Task Network Gateway. You can see that the T2, the T2S right there in the middle uh, being TIPS, connecting directly to, uh, if you look directly over the right, you can see the drivers, Ripple having their own driver as well. And then looking over to the right where the networks are, you see that uh, the network's connecting to Ripple, Ebix, SwiftNet, and CNS. So quite a bit of connections there with these particular networks. So again, we have Task that is actually partnered with Ripple. Uh, we have TAS that's going to be taking advantage of the TIPS system as well, which is also being taken advantage of by the European Central Bank. So 
again, some connections there that are being made. And something else I wanted to kind of go over when it comes to additional uh, connections being made, especially with tips, this is another article that was recently coming out talking about uh, Equin's World Line launches tips gateway service. Now here we have reference of this uh, talking about how Equin's World Line SE, a subsidiary of World Line, the European leader in the payments and transactional service industry, successfully launched its tips gateway service. And of course, uh, it does state that uh, it's offering sev several international operating tiers. And of course, uh, this is going to be something that goes live in the first half of 2019. So again, we have uh, a company called Equins Worldline, which is again a subsidiary of Worldline itself. We'll go into the information about that here in just a second. And the article does state here that with Equin's Worldline Tips Gateway Service, banks have the benefit of a single interface for instant payments for both the Equin's Worldline Instant Payments CSM and ICHA Instant Payments Interoperability Links. Now, a lot of this right here is pretty in depth as far as this uh, how it works. So I won't go into that. I'll leave all the links in the description if you feel like reading that. But you can see here uh, their connections with the Target 2 instant settlement solution for the Euro system. We just talked about how Target 2 is basically uh, linked with TIPS. And we also have some connection between that and the, this company called Equidens Worldline SE, which again is a subsidiary of Worldline. Now let's go into a little bit more involvement here because we just connected TIPS now with Equidens Worldline line looking a little bit further here uh, this is actually a, a document article regarding Equin's world line I brought this up here and I'll leave a link in the description one of the things I wanted to quickly point out here you have the talk of the, the faster cross-border payments uh, you also have some charts to talk about how the old uh, process using Swift here you can see that uh, the a little diagram kind of shows you how that was working with Swift's infrastructure and talking also about how it was, uh, cost a lot of money to do this and it was also slow and inefficient then you also have multiple cross-border payment initiatives here and you can also see where they are talking about how obviously they're using the example as far as a DLT disruptive alternatives being ripple but we already now know that um, there is this connection between Ripple uh, being a partner of TAS, uh, TAS Group having the affiliation of TIPS, and now TIPS have an affiliation with Equin's Worldline, so it would only make sense that Equin's Worldline has a connection with Ripple. Uh, something I found very interesting here, we've talked about TransferWise. Uh, they definitely love what Ripple's trying to do, but they think that more banks absolutely have to get on board before they would be even interested in using uh, Ripple's technology there. But again, we have a, a what looks to be some of the names being connected here between uh, Ripple and Equin's world line. You can also see the uh, incremental service renewal. They're using Swift as the example. Uh, so again, some big names being connected just simply off of this particular document here. Uh, something else I wanted to quickly go over here when it talks about Worldline. Uh, again, we had the Equins Worldline SC, which was a subsidiary of Worldline itself. Now we have here that uh, Equins Worldline to process de Volksbank multi currency payments. Now, of course, this talks a little bit more in depthly about the De Volksbank. It says that they are the fourth largest bank in the Netherlands, has chosen Equins Worldline SC, a subsidiary of Worldline, the European market leader in payment and transaction service to process its multi-current payment transactions. So again, now we have some more connections here. We have De Volk Bank uh, working with Equins Worldline, again, the subsidiary of Worldline itself. And of course, we have Equins Worldline uh, using what looks to be uh, uh, tips or at least the target two of tips uh, for payment services so again big connection when it comes to uh, what's happening with tips as well uh, here's another particular uh, article talking about world lines connection there with a company called six we've actually heard about six when it comes to the six Swiss exchange that just recently launched uh, dealing with cryptocurrencies such as XRP now of course here we have again uh, uh, information talking about a strategic partner partnership between Worldline and six consolidated European payments. So I'll leave the link in the description so you can look up a little bit more about this right here, but it does talk a little bit more in depthly about that. And of course, uh, we just heard about, the, again, six host world's first crypto index ETP listed by Ammon. And of course, uh, one of those particular uh, crypto indexes is going to be XRP there. So very interesting stuff when it comes to, again, to linking all these particular companies together here. Something else here as far as uh, world line is concerned 
Uh, we have what looks to be a meeting in November 30th, which is tomorrow, or again, whenever you're seeing this, the, that day has possibly already gone. Um, but nonetheless, we have acquisition of six payment service. Six Group AG becomes 27% shareholder of Worldline. So here's another way that six is actually being connected directly to Worldline. And again, six just had that ATP for XRP. So again, some connections when it comes to all these companies being directly uh, involved with each other in some form or fashion there and very interesting enough um, is my guess that we'll start seeing all these companies start integrating some very similar payment processing when it comes to tips because of that connection there uh, one last thing here I'll leave all this in the uh, the description but it shows here that this is coming from worldline.com as well ensuring the success of your blockchain project I'm bringing this up here because we have a little bit of reference that says this research has been led by workforce blockchain which is made up of experts from worldline and atos whose tasks include blockchain training technology exploration and this is including bitcoin ethereum hyperledger fabric which i just talked about in my previous video uh, the multi-chain of which worldline is a partner and recognized contributor and also ripple and of course additional companies so we actually have again some more connections when it comes to worldline we have connections with them now with ripple just simply because of the talk of them and the hyperledger fabric just as well so you can see how all of this is really interconnected on a very large scale and it really just uh, again Again, for me, it just started with that, that article from AMB Crypto today, seeing how we're going to uh, be dealing with the European Central Bank and tips, task group and tips, task being partnered with Ripple, and of course, all of these connectors there. Um, if I've missed anything at all of this here, definitely let me know in the comment section. There was quite a bit of information to go over, and it seemed rather overwhelming for me to kind of go over it, but uh, I hope that for you guys this makes sense. And of course, again, if I miss anything, just leave it in the comment section for sure. Uh, outside of that, definitely thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. And hey, if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit that like button. It definitely helps get this information out there to as many people as we possibly can. And also share this content out with everybody. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. This channel has been growing by leaps and bounds and I could not have done it without you guys. If you really wanna help this channel grow, please donate to my Patreon page. Even a dollar a month would be amazing and would absolutely go right into my channel to make it more professional for you guys and allow me to create even more content. Thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.